It was no surprise to anybody that Sony's CES 2011 press conference was all about 3D. Sir Howard Stringer made a grand entrance in the Green Hornet's Black Beauty with the stars of the film, Seth Rogen and Jay Chow, promoting the release of the film on January 14th. He proceeded to talk about the success of the PlayStation Network. Our first true network service, PlayStation Network, is growing rapidly and now has more than 60 million registered accounts with online storefronts in 40 countries. And the ever-expanding 3D world in the future. New 3D products were announced, including the Television Redefined campaign, where they showed off the new Bravias powered by Google. Sony introduced the world's first internet TV powered by Google TV back in October of last year, along with a Blu-ray player. These groundbreaking models generated a significant buzz and confirmed to us the combining internet functionality and video content together with Sony's legendary picture quality and performance is a sustainable and winning proposition for consumers. Kasurai hit the stage and talked about the Sony PlayStation 3's campaign into 3D gaming. Sony is also in a very unique position for our ability to bring native 3D gaming to all of your HD TVs. Content that is purposely created just for 3D. One very relevant example, of course, is Gran Turismo 5, which is arguably one of the biggest franchises for PlayStation. And of course, there is more amazing content on the horizon. Killzone 3 is coming out next month, and we're going to continue to support 3D with our biggest franchises. They even showed off a new trailer for Uncharted 3, Drake's Deception in 3D. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's all real pretty, but what the hell's it mean in English? It means be careful what you wish for. It might just get you. After the press conference, GameSpot editors weighed in on their reactions. Came out of there thinking they want 3D to succeed really bad because they were spraying 3D all over the place. They have 3D camcorders, 3D cameras, 3D TVs, 3D laptops. I know they really want this whole 3D everywhere thing to work, and they're definitely giving it a hard push, but like everything, it's gonna be content, right? So they have a bunch of products, a ton of different things that do this stuff. And it's good that some of that stuff relies on consumers, right? Because the blog is you make your own content and kind of share it and whatnot. But 3D movies, 3D games, like PS3 stuff specifically, they've really got to push that and they have to make it not gimmicky, they have to make it really cool. Games, all we really saw was un un Uncharted 3, which looked pretty sweet in 3D, no less. It was kind of like, you know, using the engine so you get a sense and it showed some gameplay and it looked phenomenal, so. You know, here's hoping. So basically on the networking side, they have their PlayStation 3, they have their, their bloggy, they have their internet-enabled TVs, and they're bringing all these services like Curiosity with like their whole music streaming service. Curiosity Music Service for PS3 sounds kind of like a neat additional service. I mean, what we've seen pretty much every CES is Sony layers one more thing on. And of course, all their video content, which of course they've they just loaded to the gills with everybody's, everybody's movies and TV shows. They're definitely pushing the network services really hard and I'm hoping that they kind of deliver on it because that's kind of what they need. They need that connecting thread to let you, you know, have one service that goes to a bunch of different devices. 